I don't understand. What do you mean by controversy? This is a British uh, imperialist term, a colonial video. thing to create That's a, what I'm doing now. a feeling that there's something bad. He has uh, expressed a view which is contrary to the general public view. And uh, he has a right to do that. You may agree or disagree. You have to answer it. This property where the... Uh, Wait, does this dude want to get rid of the Taj Mahal? Actually belong to the Maharaja. Not Swami, this guy I, That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And there is documentation to show that Shah Jahan put... Uh, coerced uh, the uh, Why? Uh, Raja Maharaja it was built by traders. To hand it over to him. Now it is certainly a, a form of robbery mm. when you coerce a okay. small. Very similar mm -hmm. to our civil war to issues that we're having uh, here. What is his okay. Now the yeah, Taj Mahal pre-existed. So the hashtag uh, is this trending on Twitter? Not, that I don't know. I guess so. Because Sack, there are uh, basements of uh, Taj Mahal which are still uh, blocked for public uh, viewing. Uh, we don't know what, what is in store there. Uh, these are matters which, uh, you see, the British historians wrote a history. I can't take that as Veda Vak, you see. It is something that has to be reviewed and it has to be placed in perspective. It's not part of our continuing Hindu civilization. Okay, so if Swami is backing this man's That's statement, a bunch of nonsense. This is the kind of absolutely does that mean Swami's stuff. in favor of getting rid of the uh, I don't think he is. If you watch that clip, them, the entire length would they look like. But it said he backs the guy's statement. Completely, that he has a right to say what he's because, saying, and okay. we should listen no to. You know, he's got okay. a right to kind of Taj say it. The pride of this nation. Um, but there's the there are a lot of people upset about this idea of getting rid of the Taj Mahal in India. Sure, much a part of our history and our, uh, uh, our heritage as any other king or any other um, uh, you know, lineage that is there in India. And I think these people should be condemned and without any uh, reservation, uh, you know, people should be told as to what the truth is about Indian history and about what these people have done. Ashwana Kapoor is uh, continuing to be with us. Uh, Ashwana, you track the BJP very, very closely and you've been getting a lot of signals from within the party that uh, they're at least on the back foot. And that is why they're coming out and distancing themselves from the state. Well, that's right. We've had the UP government minister, Rita Bhaguna Joshi, coming out and stating that this is not the comment either of the party or of the government. And as far as the government is concerned, the line has been made very clear either by her or by the chief minister herself. Sangeet Som has been known uh, ever since the those very infamous Muzaffar Nagar riots, Shivani. He has been making such uh, such kind of statements. And this time around, once again, he is not being backed either by his state unit or by the central BJP, but on the contrary, we've just heard Subramaniam Swami, m member of parliament from the upper house, coming out and in some way or the other giving slight support to the comments made by Sangeet Som. So this shows that somewhere or the other there is some slight kind of support, support for Sangeet Som from the BJP. Let's hear him out. Let's, let's hear this guy has the right to the say what he wants to say. Let's hear him out. Their distance from Sangeet Som once again. Whether he will be summoned, whether he will be sacked, all of those questions need to be answered later. But at this very point of time, Sangeet Som is very adamant on his comments he made he still he is sticking to it but the point is after a Saudi Novesi roping in the Prime Minister and then the UP Chief Minister what's going to be the response of the BJP now absolutely so you know this comment by him has opened up the government both at the center and the state for attack by the likes of Asaduddin Novesi so in that respect uh, the BJP obviously is going to be a little concerned but let's just listen into what Rita Bahuguna UP Minister had to say once again so what do you think about the idea of getting rid of the Taj Mahal? Um, I mean, obviously, this is, it's difficult for me to weigh in with an opinion because it's not my country, it's not my heritage, it's not my culture. Um, so who am I to tell another country and their culture what is right for them or what they should do? Um, but as an outsider looking in, you killed our lighting. I didn't kill our lighting. I didn't turn off anything. Okay. I didn't turn off anything. Um, weird that you just noticed, however, that that light hasn't been on. The lighting's wrong. Um, yes, you didn't turn it on. Back to the point we were making, as an outsider looking in, I would think that most Indians would not be in favor of getting rid of the Taj Mahal, but I will be curious to hear what our Indian friends have to say. What are their thoughts about this? Do they think this is a good thing? Or are they, are they like, no, we, we want to keep this and preserve this as part of our heritage and our culture? India is a democracy. Mm -hmm. It is, is the world's largest democracy. That is true. 
they should be able to do whatever they would like to do. They should yeah, put it to a vote right. because they are they're not a republic, they are a democracy. That's correct. But it reminded me a little bit of what's going on in America with the Civil War statues in the South. With the monuments and whatnot. People wanting to take down all these things and kind of mm-hmm. erase that portion of history. Right. These monuments in America aren't necessarily uplifting. Right. Heroes of the Confederate Army. But they are part of our history. But they're a monument. And so so in that regard, the for monument us... monument in the sense that you see it, you look at it, and you use it as a point of discussion. Yes. This was the this time in happened. our history when A, right. B, C happened. Yes. And now I can understand... Do you like my Big Papa Monkey shirt? Oh, my goodness. Big um, Papa Monkey! Like, What's have, up, yo? Hold on. I have the American... I just thought you lifted your shirt. The up. American like, flag flash. Yes, you so do. There you I go. thought you are um, from the when, from the point of an American who is very interested in our history, um, as far as the monuments here go, the Confederate monuments and memorials, I think it's perfectly fine for um, the government of a particular state to say, we don't want them on state land, but we will move them to museums, because that way people can still be exposed to the history. Obviously, you can't do that with the Taj Mahal. You cannot remove it and put it in a museum. Let's go put it in a museum and go up. So I would be curious to find out what our Indian friends think. Are they for keeping the Taj Mahal or are they for demolishing the Taj Mahal? I would be curious to see what Pakistan says and then I would do the opposite. It doesn't really matter. It's not their country. What do you think of what should be happening with the Taj Mahal? Whatever they say, do the opposite of. It's not their country. So their opinion doesn't really matter, just like my opinion doesn't matter in this regard. Yes, very so. good. Um, so if you would please be so kind as to subscribe please. to our channel. Now, um, we have noticed that there are some people who have <laughs> been long-time and they're not watchers. You watch us. Don't name them. And, and I'm guessing you enjoy us because you keep watching and you comment but you're not, in fact, please subscribers subscribe. yet. So if you would please, please do us subscribe. the kindness of subscribing to us and showing us that um, you really do love watching us. If you enjoy our banter, if you enjoy hearing our wacky opinions about things, if you enjoy the way that we butcher um, different butcher. names you and different not words, me. Not me. if you enjoy that. Namaste, Mirna, Professor Hey, Epsi, Milko, Hushiwe. Please subscribe to our channel. Good job.